I don't judge you for your life choices. I don't need you to judge me because I look like a clown. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I thought we would do a little bit of a Q&A today because I feel like answering questions. And also I have to work on editing in a little bit for my first comment, which is cool and weird to say out loud, honestly. But we'll talk about that more soon-ish when I can. But uh, anyway, I thought we would do a little Q&A, so let's just look at the Q&A probably like a year now, early pandemic time, uh, so I thought we would do another one, and yeah, I uh, got a few new questions that we can cover today, so we should get started. Okay, so the first questions kind of go together, um, favorite horror film deaths and favorite underrated horror film antagonists. Uh, deaths. I have a special place in my heart for that horrible, horrible death in Freddy vs. Jason, where the guy on the bed, you know what I'm talking about? Okay, yeah. Okay, that one horrified me for the longest time. I don't know why. It did. I think about it often. Um, to kind of go along with the antagonist thing, Terrifier. If you haven't seen Terrifier or All Hallows Eve. Okay, first of all, don't watch them if you don't like disturbing things. Second of all, Terrifier had one of the coolest and most uh, deaths I've ever seen. Okay, so if you've seen it, you know. You, you know. You know? You know. Okay. Um, but with that, Terrifier, Art the Clown. I love Art the Clown. I love him. He's my boy. He's one of my favorites. Um, I have, I have a thing for clowns. Not a, not a. Don't, don't take don't take that the wrong way. I like clowns a lot. I like bad clowns. Like I like Pennywise and I like the Joker and I like Harley and I like um Jack the Clown. I'm obsessed with Jack the Clown from Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights. Whose car alarm is going off? Anyway, I'm trying to record a video like a YouTuber here. Um so yeah. Uh, Art Clown. He's 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 kind of known, kind of lesser known. I feel like if people people need to give him some love. Um, I don't know. There's a, there's a lot of good ones, but Art's the first one I can think of off the top of my head, probably because he's like peeking at me here and there on my shirt. So, the next question is, why are you so awesome? Well, sir, I'm not awesome. That's the truth. I'm not, I'm not that great. So, unfortunately, that's my answer. Favorite childhood animated show is um, obviously Batman the Animated Series, but um, something a little more like off of the off of the obvious of Batman the Animated Series is uh, Invader Zim. I was obsessed with Invader Zim. I love Vernon Vasquez. I love Johnny the Homicidal Maniac. That's one of my favorite comics ever because it really just appealed to my funky dark little heart. So yeah, Invader Zim, Batman the Animated Series. Those are my favorite animated. <laughs> but if you want to know my favorite show as a child, here's where I'm really going to throw you for a loop. Golden Girls. And I'm not kidding. And I'm not jumping on the, on the Golden Girls bandwagon. My mother will tell you that weird little little bitty angel really liked to watch Golden Girls, my my GGs. They were my GGs. Um and whose line is it anyway? And not not just like starting at Drew Carey time. I watched the the old Whose Line Is It Anyway with the I can't remember his name right now, but the the British host. I watched Whose Line Is It Anyway for years and years and years with this. And I watched I've watched Golden Girls more, every episode of Golden Girls, more than I've watched anything in my entire life, so. Do you think Harley will be converted into a hero and end up in the League? I'm assuming by the League, it's Justice League. I mean, you never know. You never know which way things are going to go. Do I prefer Harley as a villain or walking the line of a villain? Yes, that's where I prefer her. Do I care? if she joins the league and becomes a hero 
I don't care. I, I'm happy if I like the way she's being written, if I think she's being treated with respect is what's very important to me. I don't like dumbing her down. And I feel like if she's worthy of getting in the league, she's not being dumbed down. So I would be fine with a heroic Harley hanging out with bats, running around doing anything. I mean, we kind of got that in Injustice 2. We've kind of gotten that with a few other kings. So, yeah. What connected you to Harley when you were a child? Uh, my first love was Catwoman. I, was, I loved Selena Kyle. And I, I, I really heavily chalk that up to being obsessed with Michelle Pfeiffer. I was just, just oh, queen. But the moment that I saw Harley in that red and black, in the black lip, and the whole clown thing, I was like, wow, she's really cool. I like her. And then as the episodes went on, you know, from Joker's favor, it was honestly probably around that love that I really was like, I love her. I love her. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. And it stayed the rest of my life. Like, she's amazing. How could I not love her? And then as I got older, um, Different things started to connect a little bit. Uh, similarities. I had abusive relationships, not, and that wasn't because of her. There's like a, a weird stigma that girls who like Harley and get into abusive relationships do it because they think that Harley and Joker are equal. And you can appreciate a fictional relationship and not mirror that. So I was just manipulated really well but anyway that's beside the point for traitor um i love psychology i've said many times for the last probably 10 years that i've really thought about going back to school for psychology i took a lot of psychology classes for fun because i'm a freak i love psychology documentaries. I love reading about them. I love uh, uh, reading about psychology. I love reading papers on it. I love reading uh, different theories. I love reading about like experiments and social theory and cults. I love cults. I love cults. If you didn't know that about me, I love cults. But um, yeah, like we just have a lot of things in common. Uh, I feel like another one of those things is being severely underestimated people assuming things about you and proving them wrong. There's a lot of power in her character and I think as a character and like within the universe itself she's frequently shrugged off as useless and I feel like I can kind of relate to that a lot of people would shrug me off but uh, there's stuff to prove there. What do I want to see in season three of the Harley Quinn animated series? I need to finish season two, but I will soon because I'm really surprised at how much I like the show, honestly, but it's a good time. Like, I think it blends enough of different aspects of Harley that I dig it, you know? I want from it? I don't know. I want I want more Harley. Maybe some Harley and Ivy action. Again, I haven't finished season two and I feel like I've had spoilers hinted towards me that there are some disturbing certain poo. Maybe thank you. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see. Um what is your favorite indie comic? You can't do that to me. You know what I do all the time? All the time, literally every week, I review comics. I don't do that here, but I mean, I could if you guys wanted. I review comics on my website. I'll, I'll link it, I'll put it here and link it below. And I review for Soda and Telepaths, and I review on Twitter for Outright, outright Geekery. And I review indie comics primarily all the time. Uh, I don't know that I could pick a favorite. Uh, if I, maybe if I had to pick like a favorite genre, I could. 
and there would be horror. I love horror. There's so many good horror comics out there right now. Um, Red Mother from Boom Studios with Jeremy Hahn and Danny Luckert. Oh, that's a good series. That's very surreal, very like dark, deep, seeps into you type horror. That's really good. Um, so much from Vault Comics. So much. It's just excellent. If you haven't read anything from Vault Comics, you need to. Okay? Just like if you're wanting to take a dive into indie comics and you're not really sure where to start, Vault Comics. Good people, excellent creative team, excellent stories. Like it's hard to find anything that you don't you you wouldn't like. Like maybe not everything is for you. That's totally possible, but they have, I think they have something for everyone, honestly. So, check them out. Um, Boom Studios has a lot of stuff. Something is Killing the Children is great. Uh, Once in Future. Oh, I have an obsession with Once in Future. I think it's because I really like monsters and an Arthurian legend. So, that's fun. That one's a good series. Um, yeah, there's, like, there's a ton. There's so many good comics out there. So many good indie comics out there. If you had to choose between Harley from Joker, Harley Criminal Sanity, or from Harleen. Okay. Oh, why? 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 What's wrong with you people? I guess Harleen. I love Joker. Jo I love Joker, Harley Criminal Sanity. I absolutely love how Harley's written in that. She's so smart. She's so smart. And she's so. She's just so much. So, I mean, I recommend both, honestly. I'll have another video soon, actually, with uh, Harley recommended reading. Uh, yeah, we'll get, we'll get, we'll get to that. I got, I got a round two for you guys. Ow, I hit my knuckle. Harley and Ivy recommendations. You enjoyed the 2020 miniseries. Okay, um, if you haven't read them, which is probably dumb to say for some of them, if you haven't read them, the... Batman the Animated Series comics, including the solo Harley and Ivy series, uh, Gotham City Sirens, absolutely excellent, especially if you love Catwoman too. Um, the, I'll have to list the issues number here, I'll put them here. Uh, Tom King, Batman Run, the two, I think, issues, two or three issues with, uh, Poison Ivy and Harley, like, kind of exploring their relationship. I think that one's really good. I really love that one. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Harley Solo series um, with uh, Carl Kessel and Terry and Rachel Dotson. I think that had some good Harley and Ivy time in it. And yeah, um, I'm sh I know there's more, but those are the first ones that I can immediately think of off the top of my head. And I'll try to, actually, I'll try to, like, get a, a video together recommending Harley and Ivy things so I can, like, actually sit and properly think through what I'm telling you. <laughs> and last but not least, what is your absolute most favorite Harley item and why? I am going to assume you mean in my own collection that I have. And that's a tough one because they're my, they're my babies. I love my babies. Refrigerator. Why? Anyway, it's a mini fridge. It's being sassy. Um, my favorite items are probably my first appearance Harley comic, my half, my first half scale bus. I have two now, which is weird. My first half scale bus. Not the the new one's not amazing, but like the the first one I got was like really really special to me. The life size Harley and my Batman White Knight presents Harley Quinn issue one signed to me from Katana Collins and Sean Murphy and they're amazing and I yeah I have some news about them soon too and something to do with that series. March is a big month for me. Apparently, I don't know.
Um, but yeah. Anyway, that's it for this video, you guys. I have answered the question. I did not take a half hour, I think, hopefully, like I did last time. So I think we found it like a sweet in-between spot of goodness. Got to talk about a little bit of horror. Got to talk about a little bit of Harley. Got to discuss comics. So that was a good time. Highly recommend. Um, do you guys have any more questions that you want me to answer next time? Drop them below. And we'll do another one of these soon. And uh, keep an eye out for cool announcement -y comic book discussion type video regarding Batman Late Night Prison with Harley Quinn. And we'll talk about that soon. And we'll talk about my comic soon, which has nothing to do with Harley Quinn and everything to do with independent comics. So, um, mine's just like a single story. It's not like I have a whole series coming out or something like that. But we'll talk about that. We'll get there. We'll get there in due time. But, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to stick around, leave a like, hit that subscribe button, drop me a comment, and let me know how I'm doing because I have anxiety and that helps. So, yeah. <laughs> See you guys in the next video. Bye.